Hey everybody, let's take a look at how matrix and matrices work in Lightspeed POS. So it's super important before we begin that you understand how your matrix attributes are set up. So in your inventory menu, let's go over and click on matrix attribute sets. This will show you the four generics that Lightspeed puts in for you. They've got some obvious ones like color, size, they've got one that has color and size. So the matrix attribute is showing that for color, attribute number one is the color. So this would be black, white, red, blue, etc. And for the attribute size, this would be like small, medium, large. But then they've also got a dual attribute set up here, color and size. So attribute one is your color and attribute two is your size. You can also set up new attributes by clicking up here in the top right corner. So in sticking with the clothing theme, let's call this color, size, material. It's going to be three attributes, and your attribute is going to be the color, if it's black, white, etc., the size, if it's small, medium, or large, and the material, which would be like cotton or polyester, etc., etc. Click on Save Changes, come on back to your attribute set, so you see that this is now added to your sets. When you're setting up matrix products, you're going to want to have a really good understanding of your matrix attribute sets. If you already have the products in your system and you just want to create the grouped product, click on matrix here, add new matrix, give it a name, set up the basic details, and when you click save, you'll be able to search out your products to add to this matrix. Now if you don't have the products already in your system and you're doing this from scratch, I highly recommend using the import items tool. And even if you have the products in your system, sometimes it's easier to export them into a spreadsheet, set them all up to be a matrix, and re-import them back in. So let's pop over and take a look at a spreadsheet that I have set up. And so with this spreadsheet, I'm making a t-shirt that comes in different colors. If this is your first time looking at a spreadsheet, you don't want to start with matrixes. I'll have a link in the description on how to use import items tools. Go check out that video first. So super important. The description of the item in your spreadsheet, leave this blank. When you're creating a matrixed item, you're going to use the matrix description column instead. You're going to fill in all your other details here as far as pricing, brand, vendor, categories, etc, etc. But what we're really looking at is this area here. Your matrix description, attribute set, and attributes. So if you remember back in our matrix attribute sets, we have this attribute called color and the attribute is the color. So in the spreadsheet, the name of the attribute set is color, so Lightspeed will know what attribute to trigger, and then the attribute itself is the color. So you have a different line item for every single SKU. And you can see we've got this set up by color in our manufacturer SKU. And that corresponds to the attribute itself, which is black, white, and we've got all the different colors here. I've also already set up all the different pictures here and have them ready to import with this file. So now we'll get a little bit more complicated. These t-shirts also come in different sizes, so we're going to add more attributes to this matrix. So first thing, remember in our attribute sets, we also have this one that's color and size that uses two different attributes, both the color and the size. So now we're going to use this attribute set in our spreadsheet. So let's pop back over and I'll copy and paste this in and duplicate it on all the line items. Now my attribute 1 is still the color, my attribute 2 is now the size. So now this is telling Lightspeed, hey, we've got a product that is available in black, white, blue, and it's also available in small, but we want to add more sizes. So let's create two more rows here. Let's go ahead and just highlight this entire top row and duplicate it down. Now the first attribute is the color, that stays the same, but attribute two, we can put in our different sizes. Just for ease of demonstration, we're gonna leave all the pricing the same, but you might have different prices for different sizes as well. You can update that here. So I'm not gonna make you sit through me making an entire new spreadsheet. I've already got that created. Let's take a look at that here. So now you'll see I've created a different line item for every color and size. Don't let this scare you. Once you have a good understanding of how the matrix works, you'll be able to make these spreadsheets pretty quickly. 
So now we've got our spreadsheet done. Let's go ahead and import it into Lightspeed. So we'll go into our inventory menu and we'll go to import items, new import, and let's bring it in. And we're gonna go ahead and only create new items and we're gonna hit continue and it's gonna validate the spreadsheet and make sure we don't have any errors. And once we're ready to import, we're gonna click import items. And once the import is complete, it's gonna ask us to upload our images. So let's do that now. And now if we go into our matrix, you'll see that we have our Lightspeed t-shirt here. If we click in, we'll be able to see that it's available in these different colors and these different sizes. You can also see each individual product down here with its unique UPC and SKU. One thing that's important, especially if you're using something like Accumula to push to your Shopify store, it's going to add the tags into your individual matrices. But up here in your main tag, you're going to want to add in your Accumula trigger and then click Save to Update. Now let's take a look at how this looks on our Shopify website. So here's our product and here's all the pictures that uploaded and you'll see that it is available in all different colors and all different sizes. So that's a little taste of how matrix and matrices work in Lightspeed POS. I really hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I will certainly help you out. Thank you very much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if it helped you.